Hi, welcome to Petra Proficient. This video discusses reservoir rock properties. Porosity is a measure of the volume within a rock that is available to contain reservoir fluids. Therefore, the volume of oil, gas and water in a given reservoir depends directly upon porosity. Porosity, phi, is the ratio of the total void space within a rock, which is the pore volume, to the total bulk volume of that rock. Compressibility The pressure acting on a reservoir rock below the Earth's surface resulting from the weight of the overlying rocks is called the overburden pressure. Overburden pressure increases at the rate of 1 pound per square inch per foot. The weight of the overlying rocks is supported by the rock matrix and the fluid in the pores of the rock. As hydrocarbons are produced from a reservoir, the pressure of the fluid in the pores declines, increasing the portion of overburden pressure supported by the rock matrix which reduces the bulk volume of the rock, and, the pore volume, and therefore the porosity of the reservoir. This process is assumed to occur at constant temperature. The reduction in pore volume VP, of the rock is defined as the pore volume compressibility, also termed rock, or formation compressibility. Absolute permeability Absolute permeability is defined as a measure of the ability of the permeable rock to transmit a fluid, when only one fluid is present in the rock. It is a measure of the ease of flow of a fluid through a porous medium, and is defined from the basic Darcy equation. For one-dimensional linear horizontal flow, Darcy's law, in Darcy units, is given by the following equation. Horizontal permeability is denoted as Kx or Ky, or Kh, and vertical permeability is Kz, or Kv. In some formations vertical permeabilities can be orders of magnitude less than horizontal permeabilities. Permeability anisotropy or directional permeability occurs when the permeability in one horizontal direction dominates. Fluid saturation Fluid saturation is defined as a fraction of the total pore space occupied by a certain fluid. Wettability Wettability is the tendency of one fluid to adhere to the surface of a rock when other fluids are present, the wetting fluid will be adjacent to the rock. The wettability states for reservoirs include water wet, oil wet and intermediate wettability. Rock wettability values, or contact angles helps define the distribution of fluids in a reservoir and affects many of the core analysis properties which are required in reservoir engineering calculations. These properties include capillary pressure, relative permeability and electrical properties. Rock wettability can be altered by drilling fluids which may lead to misleading results during core analysis. Capillary pressure
To understand capillary pressure, consider a capillary tube placed in a beaker of water that is overlain by oil. The water will rise up the tube to some height as shown in figure. The angle measured through the water at the point where it touches the tube is the contact angle theta. Contact angle as previously discussed is used to define the wettability of the surface by the water. In this case the system is said to be water wet. Capillary pressure can be calculated by the following equation. When a rock is saturated by only one fluid, the ability of the fluid to flow through the rock is directly proportional to the absolute permeability that can be defined by Darcy's law. When a rock contains more than one fluid, the ability of each fluid to flow is reduced by presence of the other fluids. This effective permeability can be defined as the permeability of a rock to a particular fluid in the presence of a combination of fluids. KO is effective permeability to oil. KG is effective permeability to gas. KW is effective permeability to water. Relative permeability, KR, can be defined as the ratio of effective permeability to a particular fluid as a measure of the absolute rock permeability. KRO is the relative permeability to oil. KRG is the relative permeability to gas. KRW is the relative permeability to water. Relative permeability is largely dependent on fluid saturation and phase wettability. The most common method of presenting relative permeability is to plot it as a function of the fluid distribution within a rock. For an oil water system, relative permeability curves are normally presented between the limits of the canate water saturation SWC, and the residual oil saturation SOR. These are the limits of saturation change in a reservoir undergoing primary depletion, or immiscible fluid displacement. In relative permeability curves, the endpoints are usually normalized so that KRO, the endpoint relative permeability to oil is 1, as shown in figure. Movable oil volume is the maximum amount of oil volume that can be displaced in an oil reservoir. Hello friends, if you wish to watch more informative videos like this one, please subscribe to Petro Proficient channel and press the bell icon. We would love to receive your suggestions in the comments box below.